This month, a team of scientists, including South Carolina State Museum paleontologists, released their findings from a multi-year study that examined more than 120 shark jaws. And today, meteorologist Aaron Walker met with local scientists to learn more. It is not uncommon to find a shark tooth along the South Carolina coast. Dave Shishimori says that's because sharks replace their teeth almost every week. Each one of the teeth is going to fall out and be replaced every week. One shark can shed 20,000 teeth, 30,000 teeth in its lifetime. Shishi Mori is the State Museum's Curator of Natural History. He, along with a team of scientists, examined several Atlantic sharp-nosed shark jaws to understand how they change and adapted. The Atlantic population isn't, maybe we'd say, behaving or exactly the same as the Gulf population. Atlantic sharp-nosed sharks in the Atlantic are getting bigger. Sharks play a crucial role in the food chain and in maintaining the balance of our oceans. Understanding how their jaws have evolved and adapted can help us understand how to better protect these important species. The study also focused on shark teeth. Tooth shape is one way scientists can determine what the sharks are eating and how they are eating the prey. The, the serrated teeth helps the adult to catch and process the fish and the younger animals that have just smooth edged kind of pointy teeth that helps them to grab and hold on to the shrimp or the crabs that they're eating. Shishi Mori noted that understanding how sharks' teeth change over time can help scientists predict how they may adapt in the future. So we're not just guessing and creating new species because we think that each tooth shape is a different kind of shark. The newly released study is set to help scientists better understand the millions of fossilized shark teeth. For WLTX, I'm meteorologist Aaron Walker. But that is some fascinating stuff, and sharks are regular visitors in South Carolina waters. That includes a number of massive great white sharks. The scientific research group called OSEARCH tags the animals and tracks their movements, which can take them all the way from the Gulf of Mexico to Canada and back again. The most recent ping off South Carolina's coast was in January of this year, when a 12-foot-long shark was located off the coast of Myrtle Beach. Sharks often go months without their tracker, revealing their location and earlier today a nine and a half foot great white shark pinged off the coast of Wilmington, North Carolina. My favorite one that I follow is Hilton. Mm -hmm. um, I follow all of them. You can follow them on Twitter and then they'll tell you everywhere they go. So you're not where they are. Uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, I like to say hi from afar.